Hello everybody, Rex Tempest Time Traveler here, coming at you with a special video. Um, this is a special video because it's a bit of a birthday video for Tears of Mingo, but she doesn't know it yet. So I'm going to build her like a special little park, all kind of in the space of one episode. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here, and it, I, Tropical, I'll show you why in a moment, but I need to rename this, so this will be Tears of Mingo's Party Palace. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that, again, I'll show you in a moment, but um, I decided to do this all in like sandbox mode because I really need to sort of have that freedom to do whatever I want. Um, all right, so this is kind of our entry point over here, right? It says, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, here's our entry point for the park. But uh, in order to know what kind of park, I oh wow. This has uh, hills and all kinds of things that make it interesting that I don't actually have on mine. Anyway, here I am getting distracted. So what I need to do is first go on to a fact-finding mission. There's a special game called, um, well, you know what? I'll tell you when I get there. All right, so here is the game that I am going to be using as kind of like my inspiration. This is Natural Disaster Survival. Uh, it's a game that we love to play, but... Currently, you can't see much. There is a blizzard going on, but you can see, like, everybody starts here on this little sort of observation tower way above. And over there is an island that's currently, like I said, being hit by a blizzard. But we have to wait for a very specific place to come. Okay, here it is, the Party Palace. Now, obviously, there's no way I can recreate the music as far as I know. Well, let's see, we got uh, tickets booth, some trees over here. This half of this is just kind of like an entry walkway. It's not even half, but okay, we got like a little hammer thing, uh, whack a mole, uh, swinging pirate ship that never seems to work. I mean, it works a little bit better than, say, the, uh, the little tower lift. There's like a popcorn here or some kind of snacks. Here's um, a horse ride over here, some picnic tables. Uh, paths. So we got a statue with some fountains here in the middle as uh, some trees around. Oh, no, acid rain. Okay. And then this area, which I, mean, I can only assume is like a place, oh, yeah, like for burgers and things like that. So, yeah, I got to take this information after I make sure I survive. But then I got to take this information back over with me to make us, you know, make it the, uh, Make the thing, so yeah. So, uh, okay, so now that I've kind of got my little fact-finding mission, I gotta figure out how to recreate these things. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, the main thing is, I will take this, I'll take some terrain, and then I will smash it down, push, oh, and let's make this thing huge. And what's the intensity, 100? Alright. So there we go. Alright, so what we're gonna do is just smash a whole bunch of this down. And then from there, we'll build kind of like the island that we need. All right, so you know what? I'll just work on that a little bit later. One of the first rides that we should do is we're going to recreate the Sky Tower experience. And we're going to do that with this thing. Okay, so now what I've done is I've created this. Now the hope is that it will actually let me build, yeah, some tunnels around it. And that way, like, we can sort of hide things a little bit underwater. Let's just find the lowest point. We'll flatten everything out to there. There we go. Now, let's just kind of make this uh, maybe a little bit more friendly to all this. Okay. So now, if we add in some water, which I'm hoping that my idea will work let's see maybe we can push some of this down a little bit and like let's see let's see how this will look so we add in some water we put it oh roughly about here and look at that see it kind of gives this whole thing now a bit of an island feel to it so yeah now we just gotta keep working on this all right so there we go now We've got it kind of, now we can get this kind of like an island feel to it, while at the same time it's still actually connected to the front. So, alright, now the next thing we got to do is decide like what we want 
uh, not what we want, but we gotta place some things around. Try and make this a little bit circular. Now the other thing that we can do is, no, where's our entrances? So even though this is gonna protrude a little bit, hopefully, should still kind of have that feel of like it's a, uh, you know, it's the park. It's got the three entrances too, which is um, kind of one of the things that we did, I wanted anyway. We're gonna make like kind of three paths that kind of go off from here. Uh, wait, maybe those aren't actually, are those not actual paths? Oh well, um, all right, well, well, we'll fix that. All right, so from here, we gotta put in our rides for instance. Uh, let's start with the probably the easiest one to do, uh, and also it just happens to be one of Tears of Mingo's favorites. We'll put in the uh, ship rocking ride. I want some games, so let's see. Um, I have the claw machine, so no, no, our claw machine. We're gonna put it over here where the whack-a-mole would have been. Let's see, now we gotta figure out something that we can put in place of the hammer or the weight. I don't know what you call that thing. Hmm, hold on, I gotta I have to really kind of stretch my brain a little bit to figure this one out. Okay, here we go. Uh, I had a ride called the hammer swing, but that might be a bit bigger than what we're looking for. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I will replace it with a drink place. Uh, I gotta think of what kind of place Tears of Mingo likes. Uh, smoothies, juice, soda, slushy, energy drink, um, milkshakes. I bet she would like a nice milkshake while she's here. What we can do is come back here and we will put a pole on top or pole with flags. There we go. That's, I don't know. Okay, that sounds a bit of a stretch with that. Hopefully, that should be the only time I have to sort of stretch things a little bit like that. Now we do need a fountain in here, which um, we actually do have. So I have to go under scenery and get a um, fountain. And let's see, what do we have? We have um, some bases, which I mean, we probably will need to put some down. Um, yeah, what we'll do is we'll do three of these together, and the reason why is because they're worth three. All right, and so on these, uh, what we'll do is we will put a round column, I guess. Is that going to be looking weird? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe if we kind of crisscross them a little bit. All right, and on the one in the middle, what we'll do is we will, there was a statue, so we will do that. So let's do, let's look for a good statue. Uh, Chief Beef, no. Um, I'm a princess. That looks pretty good. The, the screaming rising thing, we actually do have something like that. It is called the, I can't remember. Was it the, the Screaminator? Okay. So we will put that over here probably push it back just a little bit so that there's actually room to put in the paths. All right, now what do I need? I need, um, there's a popcorn thing over here. Uh, so what we'll do for that is come back into some of these little mini shops and facilities. And let's look for some that might have some food. Um, something kind of similar to popcorn, but I don't think there is. Let's see, oh, ice cream could be a good choice. Uh, Missy Good. Uh, Pizza pen would be my favorite, but you know, this is for her, not for me, so I gotta keep that in mind. We will do the ice cream and we will put this in here. And okay, there we go. Alright, so now over here we want to put the carousel, which again I know we have. No, that's not the carousel. Oh, here we go, the Venetian carousel. So we'll put that over here. Uh, there are some picnic tables over here, but I think you have to add paths first. So before I do that, I am going to add some, um, what am I going to, oh, the, the burger shop. All right, so we will put this over here. All right, now we got to put in some paths to join things, start joining things together. Um, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to start with kind of a path that sort of goes around this fountain. 
I do hope that Tears of Mingo understands what I was trying to do here. There's a, obviously something that always kind of gets lost in translation as you're moving from one to the other, because we can't have like a large just walking around area, I don't think. Um, yeah, for seating areas, what I will often do is just make a very wide path. All right, so yeah, this can put uh, a couple of seats in it. So what we'll do now is over to our scenery. So we need some benches. Uh, I think they were green, so let's put a few here. I think I only have two, but we'll just add a few more just to sort of like fill it all out. We do have some people who are like starting to walk over. Okay, so this ride is now open. All right, we'll now mark this one as open. All right, so I got my three paths. I had to push these things back, add in some bushes. I didn't quite line up, but hey, at least you can come in here, split along three paths. I don't know why you would, but you can. I guess that's the important thing. And also, let's come in here and let's uh, come into scenery. Because there's some just little like path extras, as they're called, and you know, things like that where, you know, some trash cans, you probably want a few of those around, things like that. But we'll take care of that. Take care of that. Ah! How could I already be like just opening and not have people to work at these places? Vendor there. Vendor there. Vendor there. Get to work. Well, I guess we gotta stick some toilets and some staff buildings. Um, we can sort of just. Maybe, maybe that's what we should have done with these pads. It's like, oh, these will take you to the restrooms and the uh, staff places. So, um, let's do that real quick. All right, tell you what, we'll just stick these things out in the front before you would even enter. So that's probably going to be the best thing to do. It's going to change things up a little bit, but hopefully not too much. Hopefully Tears of Mingo will still understand what I was trying to do. Let's also do some lights. Here we go. Put some standing torches in different places just to make sure everything stays lit up. Wow, this place is uh, getting really busy. And that's awesome. I don't know if this will be somebody who sticks around, but let's do a little princess here. Somebody says hi. Greets everybody and things like that. And we should probably put a janitor around, and a mechanic, and maybe a security guard. And probably I should put some security cameras pointed over here. Okay, and finally, I remember there were some points of uh, topiary. So I just need to find where those things are. Because I think there's a circle somewhere over here. Uh, where somewhere off in this direction and just for the heck of it why well, in another little princess entry point all right so now all i gotta do is bring on tears of mink oh i gotta finish turning it into an island also but then i just have to bring on tears of mingo and see how she enjoys it okay so now i am back and this time I have Tears of Mingo with me. No, you don't. Oh, I have to have you with me. Fine. Because I made something just for you. What? Now, the thing is, again, this is a complete... I mean, uh, this is like a really complete surprise to Tears of Mingo, but can you figure out what this is? Uh, okay, fit. so I'll give you a hint, okay? I'll give you a few hints. We're on an island. I could see that. All right, we have like a little ticket booth entry area with three sort of gates. Is it like a different park? Yeah. It's got a, um, a swinging ship over here. Over here is one of those rides that drops. And let's see what else we have here. Um, sorry, the controls are being a little bit unhelpful. Uh, over here we have like a ferris wheel over here we have a place where you would get burgers a fountain in the middle all right i'll give you another hint okay oh i know what it is what it's that one thing from natural disaster survival yes it is party palace and look i even made 
Where's Whoops. the tornadoes, floods, acid rain, and all the natural disasters? Look, you remember that little place like over in the distance where you spawn? Like yeah. your observation tower? I even built that. And look, in order to actually keep it an island, I actually like dug all this out. Okay. And you can actually like, it's a tunnel that connects the two. So people actually can come on, travel down the tunnel, around the lake. I mean, you have to forgive the fact that's not round. And that, like, I yeah, added some extra stuff, like, oh, here we have... You mean forget the fact that it is round? Well, I meant my island's not round. Well, oh. but it is rounded in the sense that it's not built out of blocks. I mean, yeah, I added, like, a mermaid statue and... Uh, oh, this the is... The popcorn. I, I gave you ice cream. Okay. I, I don't have popcorn. Um... Look at all those people. I know. It's preparing for like a flash flood. Yeah, here's like a little some treasure over here. So I I took the sort of main idea. Oh. The whack-a-mole oh, is yeah. now a claw machine. Oh wow. And oh, oh wait, maybe this is my wait, which one is this one? Oh okay, this is milkshakes. This was actually like one of those ri not rides, games where you like hit the hammer and the thing goes up. So instead, I gave you like a sweet treat there and a pole that on top. I mean, cool. you had to take some creative liberties. Yes. So I built this for you because it's your birthday in a few days. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. You made this for me. Yeah. Yeah. So would you like to go on one of our three rides or okay. four rides? Which one? Should we go Dropper. on? Dropper. The, oh, okay, the dropper. All right. Oh, let's see. We got to um, close it. Ride camera. Okay. Oh, these people. Wow, this thing is full. I can't even yeah. get my. Why know, didn't you build this? Um, I actually do have this. If you're talking about it in my centuries of fun. Um, yeah. So everybody, get off so we can start. I feel like just saying test to make everybody get off, but uh, yeah, look at her leggings right there. Oh, their legs are going through! Ah, sometimes things like that are Logic. kind of freaky when you can see it up close. Yeah, all right, so we just gotta wait for all the people. He's got an Uncle Sam hat. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, yeah, I did add a few other things. Well, I, I can show you this real quick. Um, what did I add? Oh, I had to put in toilets. And an employee um, area. I mean, you have to have those. So yeah, but Party Pals is, like, almost impossible to survive a flash flood. Yeah, okay, so if we had a flash flood, then yes, that would be a problem. <laughs> but I don't know how to create a flash flood in this game. Hey! You left, you left one seat empty! Alright. Oh, well, it spins. I guess we're sitting in that seat. Yes, okay. Empty one? Yes. We are nothing. Yeah, see, like I said, there's the observation tower. Again, yeah, I was doing the best I could, but look how much water I had to, like, shove the land down and be like, get down there, like this has got to be nice water. Lake. Yeah, yeah, so, and also this is all tropical, because I figured that looked the most like we're on a beach or whatever, so. Well, it doesn't have sand around, it just has mud. Oh, wait, who are we? Somebody wearing a kitten shirt. Which does actually seem appropriate to like what you might wear. Uh, I wear a pushing shirt. Yeah, I'm just saying. You said it doesn't. I said does seem appropriate. Oh, uh, you're not screaming. Not as scary as in real life. No. All right, and oh, the <laughs> should we do the merry-go-round next? Sure. Tears and Mingo's always like, oh, the merry-go-round. Let's because ride that until we. Seat. I know, but I'm saying, like, you, like, any sort of disaster, it's like, let's get on the merry-go-round and we'll survive on there. It's like, okay. So, I guess this is proof that in Planet Coaster, you don't need a big ride to, you know. Why isn't it going? I don't know. That girl's got a cactus sweater. Uh, pink and light blue cat. Oh, there's one guy who's like, oh, please let me go on. Here we go. Yay. Oh, he's on an airplane. Mm -hmm. You guys got a mustache. What? What girl? That guy. Oh, that guy. Oh, yeah. 
Well, that guy's super tan up there with the orange hair. See, there's his head coming up now. Whoa! You can't be tan with orange hair. That's true. You just go from white to burn. Yeah, it's white to red. There's some birds flying around. Are you still riding, or should we go to the next one? Next one. This uh, yeah, that's one of those things that's better in real life, I think. What's uh, those things? What are those pirates fighting? Oh, it's an animatronic thing that I just added for the heck of it. Um, what they say is that, like, if you put uh, scenery around your path, that you can charge more money for it, per, you know, per ride. Oh. Yeah, so I just put a few things around to sort of... Those kids look weird. They don't have... They just have weird eyes. All of them have just little dot eyes. Oh, there's another one of those... I don't know if that's the same... No, obviously the same girl, but... Uh, just cartoonish, that's all. It's like when they're looking around or they move their eyes, they just move literally. Yeah, yeah see? Oh, they're fighting. Yeah, so like I said, I just made this as a way to kind of say happy birthday to you. And we'll be back for more videos in the future. I want to say thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.